Hey guys, it's Daryl here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at part two of my favorite unique guitar techniques. Let's get started. So if you missed last week's video, you can watch it by clicking the link above. Um, and in that video, I went through five of my very favorite unique guitar techniques. Today, we're gonna do five more. For this week's video, we're gonna be using the Bermuda 3 Pick by Chicken Picks. We're gonna record our electric guitars direct using Bias Effect software. We're gonna use a Gibson Les Paul Traditional, a Fender Telecaster Thinline, an Ibanez RG870, and a Stonebridge acoustic guitar. Our first technique is the kill switch. So we've been using the bridge pickup on this Les Paul and our volume is all the way up for that pickup. And on the neck pickup, our volume is all the way off. And that way, when we switch from the bridge to the center position, it totally cuts your sound off. So just by manipulating the pickup selector back and forth, you can get that unique sound. All right, so our second technique is right hand tapped harmonics, and we're just gonna use 12th fret. So those are the two harmonics that we wanna have ring out. And so you're gonna take your index finger or sometimes your middle finger, depending on what's more comfortable for you. And we're just gonna tap on 12th fret, like so. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an exercise to do, because it's fun to watch people use them, but uh, the real goal is to you know, have you guys incorporate them into your playing. So here we go. We're just gonna use a power chord shape on seventh fret. That's an E5, and then we'll go down to 4th fret, C sharp minor, C sharp minor 7 it is, and then A2, and then B4. So we're just going to use those same power chord shape on 7th, 4th, open, and 2nd. So what we're going to do is strum, and then tap, strum, tap, strum, tap, strum, tap. Okay, and when you get comfortable with that, you can add a few more taps. Our third technique is the whammy warble. So you can do this on any guitar equipped with the trim. You just have to set it up to float. So that means you can bend up and down. And all you're gonna do is take that whammy bar and give it a flick. So the trim kind of goes back and forth and just vibrates a few times, creating that nice little warble. And again, it's a, a fun element to add to your soloing, but you don't wanna overdo it because it is a very uh, yeah unique sound. So our next technique is a little pop and slap. Uh, so we're gonna forego our pick or finger style technique or whatever, and we're just gonna use our thumb to play like that. And uh, what you wanna do is use the knuckle part of your thumb right there. Hopefully that's in focus. Um, yeah, so instead of using uh, your fingernail or if you don't have fingernails, the fleshy part of your thumb to play, we're just gonna move the string down to right on top of your knuckle, right where it's hard like that. And you can either use the front face or the side face. I like using the side face. And you guys can just practice this by playing some riffs that you're comfortable with, that you know really well, and just put the pick down and try using a little, uh, uh, yeah, using a little thumb action. And then for the 
pops part of it, you just kind of hook your, your uh, index finger like this. So when you go down with your thumb, you come up with your finger and that's why, how you can get that. Just by hooking that string really, uh, yeah, get a good purchase on there. Like that. All right, have some fun. Our last technique is the tuning peg twist. Now this is a really fun technique to add into your playing. And in, and in this example, I've just been using the second string. So what I like to do is just take a visual stock of where that tuning machine should be so that when I go down, I can use my ear, but also I can use, just use my muscle memory and the feel and the visual cue of where that tuning machine should be. So if you guys wanna try uh, this technique a little bit, you could put your guitar into drop D. Like so, and then I've just been using the harmonic up on 7th fret and 3rd string and 2nd string. Thanks so much for watching you guys, I hope you enjoyed all these techniques. Let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorite. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, give the video a thumbs up, that's all really appreciated. And we'll see you guys next week with a new video. Take care.